we go, Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Just about Great. to get underway. Good. Well, never any great mystery when Sean O'Malley's in the octagon. The lettuce on the afro is flowing. As for the fight, though, O'Malley's been a pretty fast starter in the UFC. Let's see if he can continue that trend here tonight. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight. Then he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Big punch lands through the middle. Lots of striking now, throwing offense, countering with the hook. Nice job by O'Malley. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Frantic pace early on to this one. That's a good kick by him right there. Oh, nice right hand, John. Lead left by Sean O'Malley. Oh, nice inside kick. Double jab there by Lee. I mean, he's 
cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by O'Malley. Oh, the head kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Lee. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Hook lands. Oh, nice combo. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Oh! Lands a good combination. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Sean O'Malley. Well, missed on that one. Two minutes now to go. Sidekick is true. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Straight right is there. Well, Sean O'Malley came into this one with the distinction as one of the best strikers in the UFC and showing you exactly why he is that dominating performance thus far. He's back. <laughs> hey, look, Sean O'Malley, when he is successful, Sean O'Malley, when he is at his best, is landing his strikes, he's setting traps, he is creating problems at such a high rate that you cannot stay with them and solve them. That beautiful timing and placement to land the flying knee. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Beautiful spinning kick lands. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by O'Malley. Oh, that oh. horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley, is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw it. Just out of range with that strike.
All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. O'Malley's got a proof. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Whoa. Missed with that attempt. Circling to his right. Oh! Oh, got to keep pressing here. Three minutes to go. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on. Oh, flying knee! Nice one, two there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. Well-rounded fighter continues to pressure the kickboxer and landed a really nice hook in that exchange. You can tell every time he wants to really put some damage on his opponent because he goes to the hook. It's his best punch, and he lands it once again. Minute and a half to go round two. Trying to kick the leg out. O'Malley gets lit up by that uppercut. Looking for that left hand, not there. O'Malley's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise started to form on that right side. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight hard. 20 seconds to go, round two. by one of those offerings from his opponent. Excellent. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent Ready. is not defending. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the store. This is what happens when you get two 
very skilled, very talented match fighters coming together. Nobody. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Nice jab by Sean O'Malley. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really... Oh! He's hurt. He went high on that one. Oh, my goodness! Let's open up that cut more now. Just missed with the straight left hand. Heavy kick downstairs. Just over three minutes to go. Work. Hard shots landing on both sides here. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be back and forth. We go. These two guys are trading huge shots. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, he's had next to no answers. Oh, he's got to start going down. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Big land with the right for O'Malley. Oh, man, some big shots, too. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Great block. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. O'Malley's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Body shot there. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, he leads with a... Oh! Earned again. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Oh, nice. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Final seconds of round three. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round.
tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful right punch lands there. Great job setting up that high kick. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Cable of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. And now a head kick to boot. Oh! Oh, big left. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. O'Malley's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Under three minutes to go in round four. Just misses with the left hook. Lee's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, nice jab to the head there by O'Malley. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Checks the leg kick. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks that he's taking full advantage of. Lee's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Big kick lands. But he needs to oh, a big kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Under a minute now to go in the round. That was a massive high kick. Lee's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up 
when it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, that strike to the body, man. 15 seconds. Oh, he's had a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar time. All right, so we go back to the stools, and we'll see if the cut man can do his part to keep this fighter in the fight. His nose is severely cut up right now. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. What a nasty high kick. Pretty good straight punch there. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, my God. Lee's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. And we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here. Soon. Leg kick, that one checked by O'Malley. Really good emphasis on that kick there. They're so evenly matched, they're going to the tap. Leg kick now. Oh! Oh, that's big. Big right hand. Now connects with the left hand. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, huge left. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now and a pretty good one at that. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Nice liver shot lands. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, the damage just continues to oh, What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Not a big, big left hand there inside. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. Oh, brutal knee to the body. This is big. That's big. Big right hand. Oh, a spinning back elbow 
right to the head. That can't feel good. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. One minute to go in the fight. Trying the flying knee there. Whiffs on the right hand. Pinpoint oh, accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, it... Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 15 seconds to go. <laughs> Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46. 49, 47, and 49, 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Well, Sugar Sean O'Malley had some doubters coming in here tonight, but he mutes those naysayers yet again. We congratulate O'Malley on another monument.